Hello and welcome to installing 7-Zip. To install 7-Zip, the first thing we need to do, of course, is download the executable. So we open up our browser, type into search 7-Zip, and you should see at the top of the search results, hopefully, 7-Zip. Verify that it's www.7-zip.org. That is the home page for 7-Zip, and that is where you honestly should be trying to download it from. Go ahead and go there. You'll have two downloads for Windows. One is 32-bit, one is 64-bit. In most cases, pick the 64-bit version, but if you are running 32-bit Windows, you'll need to use that. We'll go ahead and do 64-bit. We click on it, and it will download. Once it has downloaded, you should see this if you're using Chrome. If not, just go to your downloads directory or wherever you place your downloads. We're going to go ahead and say show in folder, and that will open up my downloads directory. And there is the executable that we need to run. As you can see, it's going to require admin permissions because it makes changes to the system in that context. So just double click it. After you double click it, it will ask for administrator rights under user account control. Just say yes. It couldn't get much easier. You only have one option where to put it. We're going to go ahead and leave it in the default location. Hit install. And that is all there is to it. It is now installed. Hit close. Let's verify that it worked and installed by right clicking on the installer executable. And you should see 7-Zip and its SHA CRC tools added to the context menu in Windows Explorer. Looks good to me. Let's go ahead and make an SHA1 hash just to double check that it worked. Hey, looks like we made a hash, so it is a successful install. Alright, thank you very much, and I hope to see you again.